What is up boys, Kenny KO back with another video, shirt off, pants down, you guys all know the drill, I know this video is going to get a lot of heat and controversy, but I wanted to go ahead and discuss it, so without further ado, let's jump over to it. So those of you that are either new to the channel or didn't see my upload a few days ago about Julian Smith, uh, basically a short overview is I called him out saying that he is not natural, and it got a huge, a huge uprise, sorry, by his fan base. Um, because as you can see he claims natural in his bio he claims to be training for 10 plus years of rigorous Training that no one's ever done. That's why he's got the physique He's got and he posted on his snapchat story. Um, I'm sorry I can't show you to them to you now because it's expired But I'll give you a rundown of what that conversation was But he posted it like I said on his snapchat story his fan base of course came over to my page and immediately started defending him saying that he's natural he has a harder work ethic than anyone and that's why he has the physique he has um, and it's strictly because guys um, you know I'm all for people say he edits his pictures and he does it with a pump which is why he looks so good in his pictures but really yes you could argue that but just look at a video here okay this guy's damn near bigger in his videos than he is in his pictures okay and when you're as big in the videos, you know that obviously there's no Photoshop or any type of, you know, shady type stuff going on, that he's really just that big. And like I said, you know, in the previous video, not to hate on him, he has an incredible physique. I just do not believe that is natural one single bit. And he played it very smart, guys. And what I mean by that is when he messaged me, he basically stated, if you don't believe me, then come and test or come and basically drug test me for steroids or peds or whatever he's taking up in Portland, Oregon is where he's located. And he did it in a way that kind of made me look like the ball was in my court. But I'm going to tell you a couple reasons what's hard about this. So with the fake weight phenomenon that's been going on and the Heba Alley, which I will be flying out to on the 24th of this month of January 2018, I can prove that one very easily or she can prove me wrong very easily. I simply take the weights that she provides, I put them on the scale, if they weigh 45 pounds we do the lift, if she does the lift then lo and behold I'm wrong, if she can't do the lift then I was right. It's a very simple process, it's easy to prove, it's 100% guarantee that one of us will be right. Now with testing anyone guys, you have to remember this as a factor, this is the biggest factor out there. Is Professional level athletes, crossfitters, NFL players, baseball players, basketball players, UFC fighters, they get away with it all the time because most compounds are in and out of your system within one to four days. Um, some of them being one days, two days, that's a very fast time. So if he knew, like I said, that I bought a plane ticket to come up and test him by the test, not only is it most likely going to be out of his system by the time I get up there, you could just simply stop taking it for a couple days. Um, there's also the key factor that it's just very unlikely that I'm going to be able to catch him if he is on anything. Um, there's also substances that athletes are using that they don't even test for in the drug test, so it wouldn't even test positive. He could still theoretically be taking a compound that's not even tested for. There's plenty of those. Um, SARMs aren't even tested for. I do not believe that he's on SARMs, but there's a possibility and that's just another curveball I want to throw out there. He could be on SARMs, those aren't tested for, and that's just really to give that comparison that there's other types of substances and everything out there that aren't included in the hair, blood, or saliva test. Now, the next reason is there's so many ways to beat drug tests, guys. And I don't want to say this to, you know, encourage anyone to beat drug tests. But for my example, John Jones, personally, I believe he's the best UFC fighter to ever be competing. He was caught recently using T-ball, which is a steroid that's in and out of your system in just a couple days. Now, how he got caught, I believe he was just an idiot and didn't know that the testing was going to be happening and he took it too recently and then failed the test but I believe he got away with numerous numerous tests previous to that whole situation so that's just an experience with you know a top top level athlete in the UFC guys he got caught now the main reason I wasn't expecting when I made the fake natty video or calling out Julian Smith about being a fake natural that obviously of course he's not going to go on his Instagram story or make a post saying guys I've been lying to you this whole time I'm not natural because first off he lives in Portland Oregon these compounds are all illegal in the United States he could do jail time 
there's no way he would obviously admit to that. Second, a lot of his sponsors, it looks like he works with bodybuilding.com. I assume they would probably drop him if he started to promote the use of any type of peds or anything like that. And then third, he would lose a large amount of his following because basically he's been lying to his entire fan base since the start of his channel because they all believe he is natural. And I do not know how they believe he is natural, guys. This honestly makes no sense to me. When you see these pictures, it should be so obvious to me when you see these pictures that someone is not natural, but maybe those people that are first getting into the industry have no idea. But like I said in that first video, when you're big and shredded, now there's that fine line of what you classify as big, but what I classify as big guys is an IFBB pro type level where you have the cap delts, the massive arms. He probably looks like he has 20 inch arms, guys. Like they are massive with being vascular and shredded and he's in this condition almost year round. And by the way guys, here's that neck bridge video. Thank you guys that commented on that last video and let me know what it was. I wasn't really familiar with the wrestling world so thank you for pointing that out to me. But jumping back to it guys, with the fake weights I can prove it. It's 100% guarantee. With going and testing Julian Smith in Oregon, there's so many curveballs that there's just no way for me to guarantee 100% accuracy. Even if I did, some people suggested do a lie detector test. Even you can pass that Simeon Panda passed one because lie detector tests don't actually detect lies. They detect algorithms in your heart, um, basically your heartbeat or your, your, the pace of your heart. And that's how it detects if you're lying. If you start to get nervous or anxious when you're saying something, it tracks you know what you say that's true. And then once they start to ask you the other questions, if they notice any difference, that's how they know that you're lying. So you can be a professional liar and actually believe that you're natural and you will pass a lie detector test. So that's simply a reason that I wouldn't do that one. Um, and trust me, I want to test Julian Smith. Like I would love to give 100% guarantee, even if I was wrong about it, which you know I'm pretty sure I'm not. But even if there was the chance that I was wrong, just to prove that yes, his physique might be attainable naturally, of course I would do it. But like I said, with those curveballs, and then on top of that, I could possibly or potentially buy a flight to Portland, Oregon, show up, tell him, okay, I'm ready to buy the drug test or the steroid test for you. Will you come take it? And then doesn't show up. Or like I said, vice versa, let him know that I'm coming. He responds. He knows what days I'm going to be there. Stops taking the compound. It's in and out of his system. And it's that. Or like I said, you know, just taking something that's not tested for. Or even beating drug tests. They're so easy to beat. And I don't, like I said, I don't want to hit that nail on the head. So that people go out there with the mindset that, okay, I'm just going to smash every drug test and pass every drug test out there. Because that's not the right mindset to really have. In the industry but like I said my channel is all about spreading knowledge and to see his fans defending him with no idea of what is really going on it, it's just really honestly shocking to me I was more in shock than anything and I thought a lot of the comments were actually just more so comical than than really anything or serious but I just thought I'd give my stance guys give you an update on everything going on with the Julian Smith whole controversy and everything about me calling him out and him wanting me to fly out and test him and everything and like I said, you know, just to reiterate everything, I, I truly want to. It's just, it's impossible to prove it. So why I'm going to prove the fake weights and why I would, you know, go prove the Castleberry fake weights is because it's so easy. And like I said, it's 100% guaranteed. There's no 100% guarantee, if any guarantee, that either of us would be right. So I, I just have to leave it where it is at the moment. You know, there might be a chance that maybe I'll go up there and test him randomly and if he answers my text at the moment but then like I said there could be the chance that he's maybe not on at the moment when I do it and then I would just take the hit for it but you know maybe I'll go ahead and do that let me know in the comments down below what you guys personally think I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you know I might have went over a lot maybe two three four five times but I just really wanted to make all the points clear guys that drug testing is so easy to beat there's so many compounds that there's no way to give that 100% guarantee that Julian Smith is natural or unnatural but trust me when I say he is not natural, okay? And his fans that are reaching out, if you guys are watching, I know you're probably going to tag him when you're watching this video. Please learn something about the fitness industry. If they look like an IFBB pro year-round and they're shredded and they're massive, they are definitely not natural. That physique is not attainable naturally. No matter how hard you train, I guarantee I could find people with far better or far less looking physiques than Julian Smith who out-train him about three to four-fold. Okay, so just want to make that clear. As always, boys, shirt off, pants down. Make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic. Signing out.